She's got the worst morning breath ever. No, don't. It is 9.30. <laughs> Another night of tossing and turning. What about you? Mm -hmm. It is nice to hear that stream, though. It's actually pretty cold out. Where's Rusty Boy? What? Where's oh, there he is. <laughs> Look how cute. You were so cute, but he kept uh, me warm all night. Chris, he's a lazy bum. He'll sleep all day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, what? He's ready. Not sure what they are. Just. <laughs> Oh my word. Not a bad view. Oh, 
that was really weak. Ah, day number nine. nine. Come on. Wait, Jabba. Let's go. Wait, Jabba. Wait, Jabba. Jabba. Wait, Jabba. Wait, Jabba. You good? Holy crap, I'm sore. <laughs> Oh man. Alright. Goodbye camp. Goodbye. So we are trying to do what, 200 miles today? Yep. That's our goal. We're at 60 right now, so we gotta do 260 on the odometer. Uh, I don't think I've told the camera this, but we have a little less than three weeks to get to Alabama. Cause we said we were gonna not rush into it. I know, we said we're not gonna have anywhere to be, but me and my dad have been going to it for the past like, ooh, I'd say over five years at least. It's a vintage motorcycle festival. Uh, it's, in, it's at Barber Motorsports in Birmingham, Alabama. It was the first place we went when we started our <coughs> full-time RV adventure. So that is where we're rushing off to, but we have two and a half, a little over two and a half weeks to get there. It's 11.30. Oh my lord, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> what the heck? 11.30? Wow, we slept in. At 9.30. Took us two hours to get ready. We gotta start getting up at six if that's the case. Oh yeah, I told you guys I was gonna go swimming in that creek, but it got cold last night. And uh, I wasn't, I was freezing this morning already. I wasn't about to jump in that creek. I let you guys down. Let's see what we're at altitude. We are at. Oh, it's getting toasty up here, too. We're at 6,000 6, feet up here. Really? Yeah. Dang. We're getting up here. Man. Chuck, 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 Always a pepperoni. Are you Jay dreaming about food back there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be prettier over here, but look how many dead trees. I mean, all that is dead. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. All right. Oh, there's another one coming. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How's it going? We're good. <laughs> That's the next bike I want. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, get on the other side. I just don't want it to fall that way. Okay. All right. Okay. Whew. Definitely gotta take off my jacket. Let's find some shade. Yeah, you don't expect to see anybody out here. No. Oh, so. <laughs> More people in Idaho than we ever have. Huh. Cocktail. Nice. Cafe and cocktails. 
Nice. Look at this. Look at the Yeah. Is there a dog? Does it look like there's a gas station? So I think this is Featherville. Featherville. Small little town. Alright, whip it around. Is this the trail? No. The trail's this road, but the other way. Oh. Goodbye, Featherville. So, note to self and note to uh, the tat riders. There's supposed to be a gas station here in Featherville, but we didn't see any gas station. So that might be vital if you guys are um, running low on gas and you think there's a gas station here because uh, there, ain't. there ain't no gas station. So we just saw a sign back there that said, back there, that said, um, the road's closed to, due to a mudslide nine miles up here. So, uh, we are going to go back through Featherville and hit this main road here, Sun Valley Highway. So we'll hit that probably to Fair, Fair, Fairfield, Fairfield, and then shoot up or keep going and hit catch them or just keep going and hit Arco might just keep going and hit Arco and get back on the trail and go down I think that's what we might do all right got some water these are good we're good to go baby let's do it you ready for me yep but yeah, this is uh, this is where I thought that Tim had said the road is closed, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Glad glad we saw that sign. <laughs> it went like right up my sleeve. Gross. Dirt road again. Wow, look how pretty. Wow, how beautiful. Yep. Dang, super cool. What lake is this? I want to know. Note to self, it's right past Featherville towards the freeway. We took the wrong way. We were supposed to take a turn. I thought it was just a straight road all the way to the highway, but you gotta turn around and go on the other side of that lake. So let's turn this train around. Chug, 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 speed, speed, speed. Speed! Alright guys, so I've always said I wanted a garage bigger than my house. I have found my dream house. It has two garages. I know. It's perfect. It's nice though, right? It's like a barn style house. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so the road we were supposed to go on is closed because the bridge is out, so we're finding a detour now. All a part of the adventure. I don't know how many times I've said that, but yeah. it's true. Yeah. This is a really cool town. Look how pretty. Oh, it's really pretty. I don't know how many times I've said that, but <laughs> I think at least once every vlog, for sure. But see, when you're on the highway, you don't see stuff like this. Nope. Like, look at that house right there. Yeah, it's just crazy. Ah, uh, the scenery has changed. Look how yellow. Wow. 
Looks like desert from up here. Wow, look how different it is now. No, I hate this part. <laughs> it's so We're different. Back to corn, and onions. corn and onions. Corn, corn, and onions. If you guys haven't watched that yet, we're talking about our, uh, our ride into Boise from Oregon. When it looked like this, but flatter, and all it was was corn and onion fields. And we were going crazy. Mental, mentally insane. So look at, look at this, guys. Craters of the Moon National National Monument? Yeah. That's super weird. I've never seen anything like that. I have no idea. That's so odd. So weird. Well, crater Creators of the Moon is uh, 15 bucks, so we're going to enjoy it from here. This stuff is so weird. Never seen it. Look at this. So cool. It looks like lava. It looks like lava that has come up from the ground. That's my guess. I'm guessing that's what it is. Maybe we'll learn about it in the visitor center, but that's I think it's lava that spewed up from cr the crevices of the earth. Let's go find out what these uh, moon rocks are from. Let's see if it says a little sign. I was exactly right. 52 miles. Miles and miles of lava, but where is a volcano? Instead of erupting from the enormous volcano, the lava oozed up from deep cracks that start near here and stretch 52 miles to the southeast. Look at that. That's a lot. So we're there. Look at all that. Wow. We're driving through it, right? That's so cool. We're gonna get back on the bike. We're about 20 minutes from Arco, Idaho, which is the next big town we're gonna stop and eat at. Uh, fuel up, maybe. And then we're gonna hop back on the trail. So, Rusty's ready. You ready, boy? Fabulous. Such a good boy. <laughs> All right, so we found a place to eat in Arco, Idaho. Uh, we I think this is like one of the only places to eat here because we drove around the town and we couldn't find really anywhere to eat. So uh, they don't have any outside seating. So we're sitting on uh, this big old rocking chair outside. When we came into the town, we kept seeing these numbers. You see that up there? All those numbers? 89, 50, 06, 86, 70, 2000. So, we were making guesses on what that was. We asked uh, the girl in Pickle Pickle's Place what that was. <laughs> she said back in 1920, the graduating class started a tradition of going up there and painting their class year in the 20s. And the oldest one I saw up there was 29, I think. Or that, at least that I can see. Yeah. 29. That's, that's almost 100 years old. It's like 90 something years old. And it doesn't even look like it. Well, not 90, a little less than 90, but still. But like 81? Yeah, that paint has been up there for that long. 34? Yeah, 29 is up there. 28, 22. No way, oh yeah, I see the 22. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Where are we, Arco? Arco, Idaho. Arco, Idaho. There's 
not a lot here, but there's Pickles Place. Pickles Place. Yeah. We're gonna eat a bacon cheeseburger. Brassie's gonna watch and uh, get back on the trail. The trail, so, uh, I don't know if we told you guys, but, so we had to find that detour um, because of that mudslide. So we had to come south and then go east uh, to overcome that trail. Instead of backtracking, going back up north, we just decided to meet the trail in Arco because we're not very good at setting our pace so far, so we really don't want to backtrack any more than we have to. So yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. Um, but I'm glad we found the detour because we wouldn't have found that moon rock. And meet those people. Yeah. Rusty Rest boy loves his <laughs> face to be scratched after the yeah. goggles. He loves his face scratched. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, keep doing it. It's so funny. He'll have like this dust mark right on his nose where his nose is dusty. <laughs> and then his eyes are clean, so. Oh, the battery's about to die. Oh no. So, it's about 70 miles until the next town on dirt roads. And at our pace on dirt roads, it's probably going to take us two to three hours. Yeah. At the very least to get there. And it's already five o'clock. Five o'clock. So do we ride until it's dark and hopefully find a place there? Or do we stay at this KOA that's there? We're going to go check out the KOA and see what that holds. All right, guys, we found a camp spot, as you can see. Check it out. You can see the numbers from up to here. You see them? It's pretty cool still. Anyways, uh, so we stopped at a KOA, which is literally right here. And look, those RVs right there are at the KOA. So we stopped. So we stopped at the KOA, and it's $32 a night for no hookups, just for a tent site. And we're like, heck no. So, uh, Scar, that's that guy's name, um, with Honey's RV Park. Uh, he doesn't charge anything. He's just, just a free place to camp. Uh, he has outlets and RV hookups. He has 50 amp hookups, 30 amp, and as you can see, he's over here. He stays in that RV. And all of this is his property. All this. But, uh, yeah. Um, there's nobody else here but us. Uh, and it's free. So, can't complain. Uh, and we even have electric hookup. So, we would have paid $36 at the KOA for that. So, we're happy campers. Um, we were gonna get back on the road, but we didn't because we had 70 miles to go on dirt roads and it was pretty windy. That'll probably take two to three hours and we only had two hours of sunlight. So, decided to stay in Arco, Idaho. And that is where we are now. So, uh, Scar with Honey's Barbecue, honey, Honey's, Honey's Barbecue, Honey's RV Park, uh, said he has a beer fridge and he also has an RV that we can shower in and go to the bathroom. Uh, and he, it's it's an RV that he doesn't stay in. So, I don't know, it's just super cool to meet people like this and like get outside the box kind of thing instead of staying at like KOAs and like the typical RV parks, just being able to meet guys like this. <laughs> I made sure the Google reviews, all the reviews are really good. I think it has like 4.8 stars on Google. For an, I, I think that beats the KOA next to him. But yeah, we're gonna go have a beer with him and uh, maybe introduce you guys to him. I don't know how he feels about cameras, but we'll see. All right, guys, end of day nine. We um, set up tent, camp, and then we went to his actual name is Scar, like legally. You gotta change the Scar because he has a whole bunch of scars. But it was fun. It was fun talking with him and getting to know him and 
how he ended up here and why he does what he does and it was cool hearing his story. Uh, much better than the KOA. Yeah, much better than the KOA. But we are um, ready for bed in my tube uh, and about to do my breathing treatment. Take your meds. Took my meds and it's cold. It's gonna get 43 tonight, which doesn't sound cold, but it's cold to us. Yeah. Um, gonna hop on the trail tomorrow. Uh, I'm interested, interest, I'm interested to see what it looks like because I'm pretty sure there's not any mountains like to the south of where we are. At least I didn't see any. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the trail unfolds tomorrow. Hopefully we can gain some ground tomorrow. We didn't even do 200 miles today and a majority of it was pavement. So it's gonna, I think the rest of the trip is gonna be a mix of the trail and hopping on the freeway or not the freeway, but pavement to get that 200 miles a day because our pace off road is slow. Yeah really slow so yeah so we're calling it a night and uh, tomorrow is another day day nine down so if you did like today's vlog well, give it a thumbs up uh, well, I can't do a thumbs up you do a thumbs up there you go give this vlog a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see you manana there's rusty boy oh, Sorry, he's pooped. He was gnawing on an elk bone today. Yep. Good night, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as you know, we're doing this trip to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis. So check out the GoFundMe link below. You can donate there and 100% of the proceeds go to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. We hope we have inspired you and we hope you enjoy the rest of our journey.